Spain's tourism industry has been hit hard by the recession. The crisis is showing the cracks in an industry that was built on shaky foundations. Decades of uncontrolled expansion have led to environmental damage on top of what local councils have to pay to manage antisocial behavior. ESA professor Antonio Argandonio urges the sector to take a new tack toward a better, more sustainable future. The Spanish model uh, was created in the, in the 50s, in 50s and 60s of the last century, was the opportunity to create wealth and to develop a lot of places in the, in the Spanish economy. It was very difficult to promote in industry there, for example, or uh, agriculture or other um, sectors. No? The model was based first in the natural attractions of the, of the Spanish um, country, um, sun, sea, uh, good climate, uh, good environment, advantages also from the cultural and the social point of view. Eh? A big in involvement of the government, meaning that they promote the, the, the tourism of Spain outside, mainly in Europe. The model was a success from the economic point of view. Jobs were created, new uh, firms, new companies, uh, taxes for the local governments, the development of services, infrastructures that were very important. Some difficulties appear uh, first. Uh, the, the first problem was that this was concentrated in a few places. Second, a concentration in, in Europe. A third, seasonality. The, 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 this was concentrated in the, in the summer. Eh? And finally, the motivation. The standard client came here looking for sun, sea, and sun. Uh, this created also a lot of external problems. The, the problem, for example, of uh, pollution, the problem of ecological deterioration of many places in the, in the Spanish uh, coast, uh, the problem of overdevelopment uh, of the real estate uh, sector. The model was um, uh, suffered an evolution, logically. For example, the opportunity of um, diversification towards rural tourism, uh, mountain tourism, um, sport tourism, um, golf uh, courses, and uh, cruises, etc. No? Nevertheless, the bulk of the, of, the, of the model was there and was very difficult to change. First, because of the physical capital invested in, in this. Second, the problem of incentives. Everybody in the sector has the, the incentive to play according to these rules. And then there was a big problem also there was the failure of the, of the government. You need a consensus among the different parties here. This is why I propose uh, uh, a kind of social responsibility of the sector. In corporate social responsibility we talk about uh, dialogue, uh, stakeholder dialogue. Okay? We consider this is a, a big advantage to, to, to have the opportunity to hear the opinions and the points of view of different stakeholders in one, in one issue. Uh, my proposal here is, the, is the, that we open this dialogue with a lot of people. Of course, the authorities, the central, regional, and local authorities. Of course, those related, for example, to the uh, hospitality, uh, hotels, to the services around. CSR is, I would say, the, the, the framework in which you may develop this. CSR gives first the idea of the companies are responsible. The, the idea of the companies are responsible even if they seem to have uh, not, not much power. Think for example in a small, uh, the, the owner of a small, a small hotel in a beach. You have no power to change the model, to change the direction of the development of the, of the, of the sector. No? But you may contribute with other owners of hotels just to present the problem, to suggest solutions, to bring your point of view and to discuss the, your point of view with other stakeholders. Unless you have this dialogue, it's very difficult that any solution be really sustainable in the future because everybody will have the incentives to go against the results of the, of the policy.